It is the Hiber Knit Along season, and we have two shawls to choose from. This is one of the shawls in this year's Hiber Knit Along called the Winter Lights Shawl. It uses a main color. I used a light main color and three contrast colors. You can do your contrast colors from light to dark, contrast color one, two, and three, but you can put them in any order you like. One main color, three contrast colors. Now, how do you know what yarns to choose? Well, we have a lot of kits at Stephen and Penelope to do all the work for you to put some four color palettes together. But what if you want to work from your stash and build a dream palette? I have some gorgeous shades of Life in the Long Grass, Ching Fiber, some Garn Stories, and Walk Collection here. And look at that, I just made a palette. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is the, I would do this as the main color because it's the most different from the contrast colors. So if you're working from single skeins, I would take a look and see, okay, I love these colors. Which one is the most different? This one's really dark, so I would use that as the main color. If you don't want a dark main color, what if we go here? This is a beautiful Life in the Long Grass colorway called Beach Grass. And it has some speckles, but it's really, really light and neutral. So it's going to contrast really well with all three contrast colors. This is a little trick I use called the twist test. This is a good way to see how your colors will contrast. I see a little bit of contrast here, which is nice. I bet with this purple, there's also going to be some nice contrast since it's so dark. So that's a really good way to see what kind of contrast am I going to get in my shawl. We work with slip stitches and these beautiful stripes for the Winter Lights shawl. So the colors are going to play in close proximity to each other. So that was a fun palette, but what if, okay, let's play a game. Can you make a really ugly palette? The answer is no, because these yarns are gorgeous, okay? Don't, don't even try. <laughs> but these colors, hmm, I don't know how they're gonna work. These are really bright, crazy colors. Which one is the most different? Ooh, this would be a really fun, spicy palette with this Garn Stories color in the Flying High colorway as the main color and these semi-solids as the contrast. The thing I would avoid for the Winter Lights shawl and any of these hybrid knit along designs is something like this. These colors are all really busy and very speckly. So if we have a main color, whatever the main color is, it's really busy and these are also busy. So whenever you do the twist test, twisting the yarns around each other, you might get too much blending that happens with all of these busy colors. So if you have splashy painterly colors like this, I would accent them with a dark main color or a very solid uh, main color so that it contrasts well enough. Oh, there we go, I found it. This is my dream palette. Blues and greens, you can never go wrong. Another way to guess what kind of color effects you're gonna get is to do a lazy swatch. This is my favorite way to swatch without swatching and you can see color interactions without having to knit. <laughs> I love knitting, but I also love shortcuts. So this is the lazy swatch. You can cut off some cardboard from your cereal box, wrap your yarn around it, and look at this. These are all the same color pops here and here. This one has a light gray main color, and this lazy swatch has a dark neutral brown main color. And I really love how smoky and deep those colors become just by changing the main color. And here it's more light and playful. So that's a great way to customize. Grab some colors from your stash, put them with a moody main color and do the lazy swatch and see what that looks like. Or put them with a light bright. <gasps> this is really fresh. I love this snowy white speckled yarn from Life in the Long Grass. So a great way to do the lazy swatch to see what color effect you get and just play around. Pull all your favorite single skeins from your stash and just see what you can make. Oh my gosh, it's too much fun. Contrast colors from light to dark. Make sure the main color contrasts. And here we have the Winter Lights shawl, that main color dividing all those contrast colors and the contrasts popping as they make their way to the border of the shawl. All right, I think I just found like 15 different color palette options. 
I don't know which one to do first. So I'm going to be busy knitting all winter. I hope you'll join along and cast on the Hyber Knit Along shawl with me. And share your progress with hashtag HyberKnitAlong2020 on Instagram.